Welcome, awesome people. It is good to have you here once again, as I warm up and get ready for a new chapter in our adventure here in Legoland. We've done much and grown a lot, but the time has come to move on to our next adventure. Ha. Hey awesome people, welcome back to my Lego Fortnite world. My name is Legion and today we are moving on. We are moving on from this beautiful Star Wars island and we are going to make the long track, the arduous journey to the Frostlands biome. It'll be the first time that I've ever worked in the Frostlands and it'll be the first time that I'm actually upgrading my Frostlands biome. So make sure to stay until the end when we're going to do our double draw for um, celebrating my 500 subs. Thank you so much for everyone that entered. Make sure to stay until the end to see who the winners are. This is going to be an interesting adventure, but before we do that, we need to go back down to my Star Wars village and we need to collect everything that we've gathered so far. And we need to get that back to the main island. That is going to be a task in itself. So let's get down from this mountain. And for that, we're going to test out the new parameters of how the glider is supposed to be working better after the latest update. So let's see just how far I'll be able to get all the way down to the Star Wars village that's down there. Ooh, my internet's a little bit laggy. So I hope I don't fall to my death here because that's going to be really annoying. But yeah, this actually, this looks like it's doing pretty good. I think the last time I was about yeah when my stamina ran out. So yeah, I think they were probably right. It's about 100%. You're doing double the distance with your glide at the, Oh my goodness, the internet's so laggy. I'm rubber banding all over the place. Ah, look at that. It's so beautiful. I love this game so much. Don't you guys? Okay, with enough chit chat, let's get down before I lose the last bit of my stamina and fall to my death. So let's just get down on the ground and let's get going. Okay, we're back at my Star Wars village and this is my storage room that I created. And I'm going to have to take pretty much most of all the stuff that's in here. Um, like I've collected a lot, obviously a lot of plastoid and durasteel from the caves. Um, I will leave some of the stuff here and I know some of the caves I haven't finished yet, but all of these chests are going to be pretty much empty by the time we're done here. And then there's a chest over here that has all of my uh, lightsabers in, which I'm going to take. I also have a couple of them on these wall mounts. I'm going to take all of those back to my main uh, world and we'll... Oh, guys, can we have a moment? F's in the chat for the uh, the workbench, the OG workbench that's no longer upgradable. But like I was saying, all of this stuff is going to have to get a move on. So I'm going to start with this specific chest because it has my iron bars and my obsidian slabs. And with that, I can make more chests on the other side. What is this guy doing? Party time here in the rebel cave. Okay, and we're done and we're just running off into the distance. What on earth was that all about? Ah, let's continue. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now that we've gotten most of our resources back on the main side of the island and with sunrise coming, I just want to show you the final hall, which is all of these chests are full of stuff. It's all nicely organized. And now this guy looks like he's getting ready to shadow box. What is it with these rebel guards? Anyway, this is a ship that I created, which looks kind of cool. I like I like the design. I thought it was really cool, but it doesn't work that way. I, I can't get it balanced. Here's some examples of me flying it, and you'll see that it it, it doesn't work well for me. Whoa, oh, oh, no, no, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. no, 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 oh, this thing, oh man, come on, no, 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 we're flipping. Whoa, oh, oh, no, no, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no, 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 oh, 
Okay, so as you can see, not that balanced, doesn't work so well, but we're moving on from that. I'm just gonna leave this thing here for now. And what we need to do is we're gonna go look at where we're gonna put up our Frostlands Village. So over here and over here, I have some markers that I put down ages ago for cool spots that I thought might work. And we have to go and check those two spots to decide which one is going to be the best spot for us to start my first Frostlands Village. And you can see I have lots of resources here for me, with me, that I'm going to take along. And I think we'll check out this one first because it's closer. So as you can see here, yeah, it's a nice little spot and I know, oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, I remember now. I want, I liked this arch in this, yeah, this is what I wanted. And this, I mean, look at that view. That's beautiful. This is, this is nice. I like this. This could work for a base, don't you guys think? This could be a cool village. And, ooh, there's a Frostlands brood. No, 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 not now. What is, oh, this is a, a cave right here next to where I want to build. So, should we go check it out? Let's go take a look and see what this cave looks like. Maybe I can incorporate this into the build somehow. I want to do something with the castle build. So maybe I can turn this into like a dungeon or something afterwards. So let's just get my illuminator on and we can see what we're doing over here. And oh, this is cool. This is a loot cave. So it means that no enemy spawn in here. We have these chests, obviously, not great stuff in it, but it's resources that I can use. But yeah, oh, this is cool. Yeah, I like this. This can really work. I can totally build a dungeon or like a like a hidden part of the castle underneath the ground in this cave. Yeah, I like. Oh, and we have a secret room in here also. Yes, I like this a lot. There's a lot of chests in here. This is awesome. I can definitely make this work. But yeah, I don't, okay, let, let's go outside and let's go take a look at, oh wait, I'm going the wrong direction. Let's go look at the other spot because I didn't remember what this spot looked like, but I can remember what the other one looks like. And I really like that one. I wanted, I thought that one was special and I thought I could do something really nice with that. So let's get over there and I can show you guys. So with the sun rising, this is the other spot that I had marked. And I I really like this one. It's a little bit further. Actually, it's closer to some of my other villages, but this is where it is in relation to the other, uh, to my farmlands and to the Jedi cave. And this, what I'm standing on was the main attraction. This is, this is what kind of sold me and what I was interested in. So if I go over here, I want to show you guys. The idea was you're coming down this road and you hit this, this arch. I like these arches, man, they're so cool. But you hit this arch and then you come through and then this will be your village. Your village will be all around here with homes and stations and <clears throat> villages and all that. And the road kind of goes through here. And on this end, I would put another golden archway um, over the road to kind of make this like a fortified place. And we'll put a wall in this gap over here to kind of close it off, keep it safe, keep it fortified. And yeah, and then I wanted to build up there. I wanted to put like a big castle. So this would be the town and up there would be the big castle. So it'd be like a Lord's castle looking down on the rest of the village. And uh, I really liked that, but I mean that loot cave on the other side, that's cool. There's a cave over here. But I went in there just now and that's not a loot cave, it's a normal cave, so it makes it a lot more difficult to incorporate. So, ah man, I think I'm going to have to go to the other, and there's a road there that I can incorporate into the build somehow to make like fortified gates and stuff. I think I'm going to have to go back to that one. So yeah, here we are. This is the one. I like this a lot. I really think we can make something cool here. Obviously with this archway that sold me in the first place, we can have this as an entrance. We can put some stairs here and then you come in and this can be a courtyard with um, some fences around on this side, on the outside. 
for the perimeter and then we can kind of go off in this direction more fencing over here and then build on top of this cave so that we can make it a dungeon underneath we can put towers up there and man just just yeah this is uh, that cave the cave is the selling point and look at this view isn't that beautiful guys this is it this is the spot that we're going to use this is where i'm going to build my first frostlands village ever i think this is going to be awesome i'm excited let's do the dance That other spot was not the king spot. This is the king spot. So let's get up here. Let's put down a bit. Ooh, and there's a chest. This is just further confirmation, isn't it? This is where we need to build. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get up here and then I'm going to put down um, a bed so that we can respawn here. And this is, this is what we're doing now. So let's just find the right bed, a good night bed or a re regal. This is going to be a regal castle. So... Let's just assign it to me and then we can get on to some real business because we have two giveaways that we have to do. So without any further ado, let's get into that. And so let's do the first spin and it's going around. It's all the names of the people that commented on my last two videos like I had asked. And the first person that wins is going to be Moms Likes to Game. Moms, that's awesome. I'm so happy. Connect with me on uh, Discord and we can go from there. I'm so glad that you're one of the people that won. So let's get on to the next one, the next draw. And we're spinning. Moms has been removed and we're going to keep spinning, looking for a new name. And the next one is going, is it going to be Eric? Is it going to? No, it's Queen's North. Queen. Awesome, man. I'm so glad that... We have our two winners. Thank you so much for everyone that participated. Congratulations to our winners, moms and queen. I'm so happy for you. We'll connect on Discord and we'll get it sorted for you guys to get your um, kits or bundles. We'll figure it out in chat. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate you all. Until next time, take care, God bless, and goodbye.